The do-it-yourself photo frame prop for a woodland theme party was so fun. Look at that little foxy gal. <laughs> uh, you transfer the pattern from my pattern over to your canvas either by hand drawing or I have a grid on the picture that you can transfer onto a grid onto your canvas and it works just as well. It's, so don't be intimidated by the drawing part of it. We use brown, orange, and white to make this fox. Brown around those tips of the ears mixed with a little bit of orange and then you use that classic orange to make the main part of the fox on its tail, top of its head, and the top of its body like that. Isn't that a pretty color? And then you're going to use just a little bit of brown in with that and go around the edges to do a little bit of shading uh, around the outside edges. It gives it a little bit of dimension. Then I finish up after cleaning my brush well. I use the white on the tip of the tail, bottom of the chin, and that tummy area. And it's okay if it, if it gets a little orange in, in there. That's okay. Then you'll put in the tree with these downward strokes. Don't be a perfectionist about it. Bring a little bit of the lighter green on top and it makes it look kind of dimensional. So be, it's a pretty simple. Finish up with your sky and then you have your uh, X-Acto knife and make a little slit and cut out that blank canvas so the face shows through. I forgot the video doing it on the fox. Sorry about that. But I also have a video on my channel of doing this deer which worked really well also. So the do-it-yourself photo frame prop of a fox was a big hit. Come on over to Welcome to Nana's for all of the instructions and lots more ideas. Come join the fun!